Now, let's get started. Today, we are talking about willpower, which is a really important concept. And that's why I added a few really good videos by uh, f people more famous than myself. Uh, TEDx talks about willpower. Now, the zest of it is we only have so much willpower. Willpower does not work. If you try willpower to eat less, it will not work because you are run on, out of willpower by the evening and that's where the snacking comes in. So what works is lasting behavior change and this is very different and it's actually a process and that is a process that I teach in my emotional eating uh, um, uh, programs at 12 weeks and I'm also teaching it of course in my individual meetings. Now I put actually a little uh, uh, AI summary below the videos. I will do that also for the third one because it is really important to listen to the videos, read the transcripts and then think about how we can do the same. Now of course, how can we gain lasting motivation? And this is a major project when you want to lose weight. You need to know why do you want to lose weight? Now that said, losing weight is never a primary purpose. Think about that. We all say, oh, we want to lose 40 pounds, 60 pounds. But why do you want to lose 60 pounds? The first answer that I get from many people, I look better. And of course, so what? <laughs> Why does it matter to you? Well, I want to fit in my clothes that I had uh, 10 years ago. Okay. So why does it matter to you? <laughs> why is that important to you? And so we go down that ladder and sometimes things come out like, I don't want to die early. I want to enjoy my old age and play with my grandchildren. Those are things that motivate you much more than, oh, I want to lose 50 pounds. When you think about, I want to lose 50 pounds, what do you think about anyway? Oh, I can't eat what I want. That feels awful, right? You don't want to do that. You don't want to think about a goal that makes you feel awful. And most smart goals that they recommend, which I think are nonsense, and I'm talking about that at, uh, at another place more detailed, but smart goals, you know, specific, measurable, achievable. If you start with a smart goal, you will fail. That's why weight loss fails, because it's not about the goal. You can set any goal and you will fail if you don't start dumb first. And I got that from Brendan Borchard. DUM, of course, is an acronym, and it stands for dream goal, something you dream about, uplifting, something that lifts you up. It, it has to motivate you, and it has to lead to a behavior. And that is an essential skill, and I teach that too. Now, I broke it down a little bit to help with the three W's of weight loss, I call it how to find the real reason why you want to lose weight because I want to give you as much content, as much good stuff as I can even in that free seven day boot camp. Now common reasons of course risk of weight related health conditions as I said want to feel more confident, very important athletic performance, meet weight requirements for certain sports. Now, well, social or psychological factors are really important and we'll go in depth in that in our 12 week emotional eating course. A desire to fit in with a particular group. Hmm, that's especially important for teenagers, but also for others. As humans, we are social uh, animals, if you want to say, so we are part, we want to be part of a group and we want to feel accepted by others. Those are really broad, broad issues. And if you don't go deeper than that, you will fail. And the desire needs to be so strong and so clear, like so clear that you can see your new life in front of you like a movie. 
if it's not really exciting you and, and bringing you great joy and happiness so much that when you see your favorite cake cookie ice cream in front of you your vision of your future is brighter more exciting than this cookie in front of you that's how far we can go and that's when it will work now i made a workbook where you can work yourself on trying to uh, discover why you really want to do uh, things and what you want to achieve by losing weight, who you are really. Many people go through life never discovering their true inner self and their true purpose, and that's sad. Why am I here on this planet? Have you ever thought about it? What do you want to do with the rest of your life? If you're breathing right now, there is the rest of your life. And I've talked to many dying people and none of them had the regret, oh, I wish I had lost more weight. <laughs> they had many, many different wishes. And I'll talk about that more. So that workbook is included and uh, printed. And think about any answer. You don't have to share it. You feel free to share it in the community area if you want to, but you don't have to. It's, it's open, of course. And the next step, once you know what you want, because I always say, you know the saying by Lao Tzu, right? A journey of a thousand steps starts with the first step, of a thousand miles starts with the first step. And that is true. But there's two things missing. Now, most people never think about what may be missing. Now, think about a journey of a thousand miles. Before you take the first step, what do you need to know? Of course, you need to know where you want to go, right? Because if you don't go in the right direction, your journey may take 2,000 miles, or you may run around the mountain of life all your life. I made a little movie, The Seven Steps to Climb the Mountain of Life. It's on my YouTube, it's on my website. You can also Google for it, The Seven Steps to Climb the Mountain of Life. It's a really good movie I made. <laughs> One of the better ones, let's put it that way. And I really broke down how and why is a helpful way to go to life and achieve a purpose-driven, reasonably happy life. Because many people say, oh, I want to be happy. No, what does it mean? Happy is a state. I can snip your finger. You can win the lottery today. You are happy, right, for a day. And then? So it's not about being happy. It's about having a purpose and being motivated by fulfilling this purpose. And for example, for some people, being a good woman, housewife, daughter uh, in a family is a wonderful purpose that fulfills them. Preparing wonderful meals fulfills them. Having a garden, that's gorgeous. It does not mean being rich and making money. We often confuse that in our Western world. Purpose has nothing to do with money. Yeah, we need some money in our world it's true but having a purpose has nothing to do with money now how do we build lasting habits say we have determined okay i have grandchildren i have children i want to be around when they grow up i have sisters nephews nieces i have friends I have a purpose for this world. I know what I want to achieve with my days. It's just I am so big. I have and puff going up the steps. And my doctor says if I continue like that in 10 years, I am dead. Heart attack, stroke, diabetes is on the verge. That's scary. I get it. We don't want to do that. But by just being scared, we don't lose weight, right? It helps for a little bit, but not on the long run. On the long run, the only thing that lasts is a really well thought out purpose. All right. 
I always have my vision board or anchor image, by the way, on my wall. So I know when I am in a moment of temptation, I can look, what do I really want? Do I want that cookie or I want to fulfill my purpose more? And I have my purpose on my website on the about page. You can have a look. But I want you to do your own. And there's many, many ways to do that vision board. How can we build lasting healthy habits? Now, this is important. Now we know we want to lose weight. We know why we want to lose weight. There's a purpose behind it. Now, the how is still missing the methods and then followed by behavior. Now, habit building has been extensively studied by behavioral science. And it's really pretty simple. And it, it sounds complicated, but it's a matter of five steps. And I have an article that helps you better with that. And I'll actually a little video that we can watch together just for fun. <laughs> the five steps to change any habit and start a new healthy habit. I'm uh, not sure if I'm sharing the sound. Let's try it. Hi folks, Dr. Christine Sauer here. There are five easy steps to start any new habit. Step one, choose something you want to start. Make it very small and easy to do. For example, I want to drink more water. Step two, choose an action that you do every day to remind yourself a prompt. For example, every time I sit down at my desk. Step three, connect the dots. Every time I sit down at my desk, I will drink a glass of water. Step four, try it. Do it once and do the most important thing to cement this new habit, which is step five. Celebrate, smile, dance, do your power move, say loud or silence, I did it. Good for me or whatever works for you. Need help? Here's how to experience the magic of great coaching for free today. That <laughs> and it really works that way. Pick one habit, link it to another habit, and every time you do that habit, celebrate your achievement. Little things matter. And I've been talking about the power move a lot in my individual coaching. Let me just stop the sharing.